six hands up. Six. Yeah. Yeah.
team meeting and on Zoom at the same time. So we'll see. We've had some improvements. I don't know if you saw Vince yesterday. He was crawling through the roof. Or yeah. so he's a tech trainer and a tech installer at the same time. So uh, we got a new camera here so that we can watch out and uh, we'll see how this goes. So congratulations, you're live on TV. So. Okay, on time drawing. We have a nice little gift card. Easy to put a card in. She actually just closed on an eighteen million dollar property. Oh, wow. Hi, everybody. <laughs> can't really hear Carnegie. We can't hear you guys. Yeah, I don't know what happened. They're having fun. <laughs> we, yeah, I can hear. <laughs> I can we can't hear, hear you. Her. Give me a sec, guys. We can't. For our online people who's online, on time drive for all online winners. Let's go. What's that? Closest, you gotta put it in the chat. Put yeah. your number. Put your number. Oh, wait. You're not, you're here. Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> I'm truly disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> 45. That was going to be my number. <laughs> I got 42. 42 from Rich. Oh, wow. Rich. Hey, That's two weeks in a row, baby. Yeah. 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 Rich, 42. So wait, wait. Long time going. Right there. <laughs> I thought that was him. What? Oh, you did. Okay, um, I know you're trying to be talking about this, but do not call until somewhere. Computer. You're muted again. So wherever you subscribe to do cold calling, they don't have DMC scrub. Please scrub. There are people who make a living suing people doing this. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I know that people are like, oh, it's only a thousand or something, but they try to turn it into a, a class action lawsuit. Mm -hmm. um, and so, um, so what is that TCPA is if you call someone with an auto dialer, that's not coming from your phone, just calling you, and you don't have permission to call them, you're likely committing a violation of TCPA. Um, for example, and um, we're getting harsh on Keller Williams because at the international level, there is a mega team um, that has a class action lawsuit. They had a whole division doing circle dialing and FISBOs and expireds, and um, they got a class action lawsuit asking for money, more money like the team made in the next 10 years. So, so um, and they essentially sued them and says they asked for a list of everyone they called and they're reaching out to them to try and create a lawsuit for all the people that they attempted to call, right? So, so just be careful. 
And um, that means call people, you know, call people, you, you know, and, you know, it's okay if you're cold calling. You can cold call with TCPA. The way you get around it is if you use your phone. Or if you use a dialer, that's fine. There's dialers that will call, they'll call your phone and then call the call the client. That's all legit. Okay? It's when you start using a dialer. If they're if you're dropping voicemails on people or auto-dialing a message, say they hang up and they record the message to them, all violation of TCPA. Got it? So, so basically don't spam people, right? So, <laughs> what's that? We're gonna say a mass text from your phone. No, mass text from your phone. Well, well, mass texts are a violation as well. So, <laughs> if you text people one at a time, it's okay. Mass is when you start mass producing things, right? So, he says bulk text, bulk text, <laughs> robo calls. Well, well he just person. said if you call from your own phone. Yeah. So it, the trick, the trigger on it is you're using a dialer or some automatic mechanism to reach more people than just one, right? Then that, then the law kicks in. Make sense? So. Human contact is the key. Okay. This is a relationship business, right? Yeah, you right. make no money if you just call them. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, move forward. <laughs> uh, COVID policy. Um, so if you're not vaccinated, you're supposed to wear your mask inside. Is anyone? I know everyone vaccinated? here is vaccinated, right? Mine's good, okay. right? Yeah, I keep my, I keep a card on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Can't think when I see my paper. But we're we're not asking you. We're not checking cards. So please, please, if you're sick, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, a few things on parking. Now that we're coming back, we're getting parking complaints because it was fun during COVID because everyone went home and said less, and so we're just parking everywhere. Oh, yeah. So um, just so you know, we have the the KW ones right there. If you're going to park on the other ones, Metro List moved in. That's 2050. All the things. Are These are the contest winners up front, right? The contest winners are up front. <laughs> right there, right there. Yes, that's, 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 those are the contest winners. Those are not. You don't park in those. Who are the winners mostly? <laughs> Anna. Anna and Bobby can oh, park the so place. only only Sarah and Bobby and Bobby have parking. But but Anna was we have a line. bunch of parking on the other side of this building over there. If you go over there, this says Keller and all over the place. What you can park. This is parking spots. The next time they go down, I'm parking. Oh. So when it says forty, <laughs> everybody's parking. When it says forty fifty, that's my double list. park. Oh. That'll go down. So you can park there, and if they complain, you can say, I pay your dues. So, right, right. so that's at your own risk. No, 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 no. If it gets towed, it's not my fault. Okay, that's all fine. Our, 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 our designated spot, I'll say Keller Williams. They'll say Keller Williams. It doesn't say Keller Williams, it's not our spot. If they're blank, you're going to park there. Okay. Um, conference rooms. Yesterday, we had a lot of consternation on the conference rooms. People taking conference rooms that weren't on the schedule. So if you need to use a conference room, you must put it on the schedule. We will come and kick you out with your clients if someone else, if you're in the room and someone else has it scheduled. I don't think you want that, right? Yeah. So that is not a good scene. So um, please put your schedule on the schedule, which is by Sam's desk. If you're not here, just call the front desk. Sam will put you or on the schedule. Better right? yet, that number we text you guys from, just text that and tell us. Tomas does that all the time. Yeah, just hey, text us. The number you get text from us, if you just text us back and say, can you book a conference room at this time, we will book it for you. Yeah. Okay, so please do that. We are working on additional space and additional conference rooms. I know for a much larger brokerage now, we have over 200 agents, so we are working on additional space. And additional... Um, kitchen area, please make sure you take home your stuff. Um, that was a great potluck we had last time. But you guys all left your stuff. We watched it all. Right? <laughs> but then, like, you know, if we leave it out, it gets taken. It's not our fault. So, you know, just please clean up it yourself. So. Um, but we we attempt. But we will clean out the fridge regularly. So if you just leave food in there, we're going to like it. So, on Friday. So. Okay. Hey. All right. Tell me something good. Lisa. Having contracts with the 1.2. Hey. 1.2 million. Yay. Congratulations. 1.3? Almost. Almost. 1.295. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 1.2, 1.3. We made the playoffs? Yes! Yeah. 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 Our kickball team. We do uh, tie the uh, So, yeah, the, the uh, official KW Sacramento kickball team, Pitches Be Crazy, Pitch are in the uh, playoffs next week. So, hey. yeah. so if anyone wants to come out and uh, cheer for us next week. Next three, no. you better be there. I'll be there. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Harvey has assured me that our team will get. Seven is the game. Seven oh. fifteen, I think. 
Yeah. He, assured me they, he assured me they would lose, but they'll have drinks. So oh, yeah, I'm in. <laughs> I mean, if I have anything to do with it. No. <laughs> I mean it in. AZ. Stay home. I got a, <laughs> well, we all, you, guys, you guys gotta hear this. This is pretty good. Sorry. I got a surprise email from Carnegie. I closed a deal three months back. I got commission today. It was a surprise. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that must be nice. A little bit delayed. <laughs> a little bit delayed. Surprise. Uh, oh, I was just gonna say, I, I closed my 1.3. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How long did it take? I'm scared. Uh, actually, actually, it took uh, what about 38 days? Okay. I, I'm just trying to get this out. But it, uh, they're really quick. I'll, I'll give a plug for Tri County. Thank you, AZ. Um, but uh, he told me who to go to, and guess what? I was doing. It was smooth and everything. It was very smooth. Awesome. Uh, daughter so name. Heather Penna. Okay. okay. There you go. Heather Penna, Tri County. That's it. All right. Yeah. Congratulations. Brian, on the screen. Right. Hello? There you go. There you go. Hey. Hi. I wanted to uh, say thank you and a shout out to uh, Sean Manny for uh, he referred to some clients for property management service. Um, the client was kind of stressed out and uh, he thought of us and she's she's been very pleased ever since. Hey, you. Did he referrals property management. There you go. So. He awesome. just made $1,400. Awesome. Oh, what? Nice. Wow. $750 per, per door. Per do oh, $750 per door. There you go. Wow. Get some referrals going. There you go. All right. <laughs> yeah. awesome. and you were with, uh, yeah, what, Home, who are you with? Home River? Or? Yes, I'm with Home River Property Management. Um, in the back by the copy machine, my business cards are on a display on the wall. Um, I'll be putting my information here in the chat box and uh, please feel free to reach out to anybody who's interested um, in making some uh, some extra money and uh, having a, a great resource tool because we're here to support uh, Keller Williams and your agents for anything property management related. I know I've got uh, some some agents that reach out when they've got questions about selling properties and they've got a sticky situation with uh, tenant occupied. Feel free. I'm I'm your resource to uh, help you in any way I can. Awesome. 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 All right, there you go. He's back there, or it'll be in the chat too. So okay, thank you. Hey, Brian. Anyone else from Zoom? Anyone else from Zoom? Zoom? Hey, Z, you didn't tell me you had the best day in real estate yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I hit about 17 million, five deals yesterday. Oh, five nice. deals, 17 wow. million in contract. Double ended. Wow. Double ended. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 The first meeting with the client. The first meeting with the client. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay, so he's working. So Pablo, and you want to tell about Pablo since you're a sponsor? So. Yeah, Pablo just came here from Texas. Um, he's a go-getter. He's been in sales for a while. Um, he walked in and loved the atmosphere. Everybody was walking around saying hi and being super cool, so I appreciate everybody doing that. It helped, <laughs> helped me sell him on it, and uh, I'm really excited to have him in. I think he's going to be great. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Tag Sapiens. Tag's come back. So Patty actually was with us, and then Patty actually went to Vacaville, and then she came back. <laughs> they always come. They back. always come back. You know, they think the grass is 
hair somewhere else, you know. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Lena, and and the the grass is greener. Well, we Thank you, Patty, for coming back. Um, Armando, oh, yeah, right. oh, Armando, Armando just joined us. Armando, tell us a little about yourself. Stand up. My name is Armando Villalobos. I got a blue brand right here. Yeah, Taylor is my sponsor. Yeah, Taylor. Uh, I haven't seen him here yet. No. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm talking to him. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but I've lived in Natomas basically all my life. Uh, I like to play soccer. Still play soccer. Um, got into this because I want to change my life, help change the life of others, and Bobby but he sounds like a good ear. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Happy to be here, though. Uh, oh, wow. hey, so, by the way, Kickball, he's an avid soccer player. I need you, bro. Hey. Well, I just let it out. Just some tryouts. <laughs> Oh, I was as a team, right? Oh! Congratulations! Congratulations to me, I capped. Yeah. Yeah. I should really thank my team. Woo! Yeah, they made, they made oh, me right. So, uh... That was a cute video. That was a... That was not. That was not. That's y'all. That was after the... <laughs> not the golf tournament. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of hard. <laughs> Uh, just listed for June total par 12 listing. Holy moly, moly par. Wow. She is killing it. I just want to know Mike Montana is six, and I've heard consternations out of the Soros team about what? having to get butt kicked. So uh, they were working hard on getting more listings. So. <laughs> Andre is in Ukraine. Andre is in Ukraine in five listings. He is, he is calling his heart out. So, a best beard for eternity for Rich three, Daniel three, Jenny two, Trip two, Amethyst, Raul, Ronnie, Stephen, Janelle, Julie, Kathy, Charnay, Mario, Janice, Victoria, Bobby, and Aspen, Glenn, Moses, Amy, Bell, Chantel, and Garuba. Congratulations to everyone. We have 261 total listings. We are trending for a record this wow. year. Awesome. Probably within the last 10 years. Yeah. yeah Ten, yep. yep, yep, definitely. Right. Will. In a decade, we haven't turned it this well. So, keep it up. Good work. Picture listings. Dexter? Do we count pocket listings? <laughs> Do we count pocket? Yeah, they're they they close. close. Well, it's, 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 it's a contract. Well, then we probably counted it before. Yeah, if it's in Sky Slope. If it's in Sky Slope. It is in Sky Slope. We count it all. Don't worry. It's a June list. No, no, it's when you enter in Sky Slope, not when it goes live. Well, we can recheck the list with you, Dexter. Right. No worries. Listen, do you have a listing you need to pitch? Oh, emphasis. Desperately, because I have to get this in contract by Monday. So it's a condo in the mill, 1435 square feet. It has a large owner suite with a walk-in closet and the bathroom. It is a three-story unit. So the first story you enter on, and it has a one-car garage. Then you go up the stairs, and that's where it has the owner suite. It has kitchen, dining room, or could be a living room with a Juliet style balcony. And then you go up to the third floor and it has a loft that overlooks and then a full bathroom. And then they have a rooftop, a private rooftop terrace that faces west for the sunset. Bring me somebody. It's contingent. I have to have this in contract by Monday. How much? How much? 479. Where's that? The mill. The mill, oh, the mill, okay. The mill. Mill. Please help. Yeah. Over uh, Broadway and Fifth. Yeah. Oh, Bring me someone. Downtown live in. Four thirty nine condo. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. Um, Don't say that. I, I told you guys about <laughs> this. About trying to put it out. This is on Phyllis Avenue, twenty six twenty. Now, right now, it has not been refurbished, but it's getting ready to. Lauren's getting ready to take care of uh, Florence condo. Anyway, but uh, we've got a three bedroom, two bath, sixteen hundred square feet. And she's going to renovate it or refurbish it. 375. Okay. So I'm trying to get it in. It's not, I mean, it's, it's on there now. They got tenants. Tenants leave on August the 5th. She gave them an extra month just to please. But uh, sure like to have it sold. Where's the location? It's, uh, if you know where Fruit Ridge, 12th Avenue. Yep. That's Franklin right there. Go come down Atlas, all those homes back in there. Right back. And that's really low. 
uh, they're going for 400. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Anyone else? Bring me some. Taylor? Bring me three people. Three people? No, you want to. <laughs> great. We have one in Riversgate. It's in South Potomac, skated community. Um, right near Chevy's on the river and Crawdads. Um, really nice home. It's an interior cul-de-sac. Um, 19, around 1,900 square feet, fully remodeled, it's staged, 624.99, um, three bedroom, two bath, single story, and it's live today, it's 10 Kelburn Court. All right. Okay. It's one of those shade, the share driveway situations or no? Oh, okay. No. Back to the box here? Okay. Yep, right near the bike trail and then Leroy Green. Yeah, they were. Okay. Right. Yeah, it just listed. Is that HOA? Yeah, 77. It covers maintenance of the grounds, the gate, association management. It's a beautiful <laughs> community. It's yeah. very, very nice. So it's a very nice yeah, no protection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. Anyone else? Pitch listings? Ah, right. so Farm's got one. Oh, Farm? Oh. Hi. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Hi. Thanks. Okay. So we have one going live next week. It is a condo in Carmichael, three bedroom, one and a half bath. It'll be vacant. So it's gonna go live most likely on Wednesday, Thursday. Um, and then we'll be reviewing offers on Monday, going live at 305. So if you've got anyone looking, it's um, the address is, sorry, don't know it off the top of my head. It's 4003 Knoll Top Court. Um, if you need details, text me, but that one will be go going live next week. Um, we do have a few more coming on market actually the following week. So if anyone has um, any interest of properties in, um, we have one coming on market in Riversgate. Um, it's a single story with a pool. So if you've got someone looking in that community, hit me up. Um, either tomorrow or Friday, and I'll get you the details. We have a couple coming on market um, on La Riviera and Clear Lake. So if you've got um, anyone looking over there, we have a condo coming up in North Natomas on Dunley. We have a two-story in Elk Grove coming up. So if you guys have any buyers, hit me up tomorrow or Friday. I'll be out next week. So please don't call me then, <laughs> but uh, next week, um, you know, they'll be live the following week. So if you guys want details before they go live, just text me today, tomorrow, Friday. Thank you. Thank you, Farm. I think Rich has one as well. Rich? Hey guys, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. All right, great. So we have a three, two, 1092 square feet, North Highland, pretty updated, new paved, new kitchen. Um, it's going live today. It's at 349. It's off Andrea. Um, it'll be available to view all weekend between Friday to Sunday. So treat it as vacant and go bring me a buyer. Listen, 349. All right. Thank you, Rich. Anyone else? All right. Just closed June 23rd. Can we practice clapping? Yeah. Yay! Oh, yeah. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah. So one clap per closing. One right? clap per closing. All right. I know we have another one, right? Harm. Jose. Eternity. Lisa. Lucy. Brian. So all of last year we profit shared forty two thousand eight hundred seventy six dollars to our agents, and but I want to note something. This year we've already exceeded that just through May. Wow. Wow. So yeah. We are we are we have a goal of getting a hundred thousand to you guys um, this year as our goal. So uh, 
We just take your unfair share. Yeah. So, you know, help me help you. Help me help you, right? We're giving it to someone, so might as well be you, right? So, so all you need to do is refer someone, talk to someone about real estate. If they're interested, give them to me. If they join, we will put them in your downline. And you are good to go. So, uh, well, we're teaching. More teaching. <laughs> we're doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, can everybody say Chantel? Chantel? You have to come up. You have to be, you have to come up and, you have to be in the camera. Uh -oh. <laughs> So Chantel recent cap, so we just wanted to highlight um, what you're doing and uh, okay, so what what was your path to getting into real estate? Um, okay, so actually it started right here. So I was on the Michael Coors team. Where are you at? Nope, you're not here. Uh, 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 nope, they uh, left. All right. I know, I owe lots of them because I did learn a lot by joining their team. I wasn't. Um, I started as an admin and a, a transaction coordinator on his team, and then I got licensed while I was holding that role. And then uh, once I was licensed, I was just doing a lot of open houses. I sucked in the beginning. And then uh, I just kept doing them, kept doing them, kept doing them, and then gained more confidence. And then I uh, decided to go. Home. And I've been on my own since um, September 2019. So, what are your main sources of business right now? Um, honestly, it's sphere of influence and um, referrals from past clients. That's where I get most of my business. Um, uh what else yeah those are the main ones really so most of your business come just from people you yeah, know and and people, yeah so i've met a lot of people through open houses and like some of them aren't ready right now to like purchase or sell but they even sent me clients just because i've been in relationships so those are really the main ones awesome yeah. i think most of us can you see you just have success right from yeah. your own people right right from your own people so what system do you use to uh in your business that you attribute to your success you said you were starting off didn't do well, and now you figured it out, got some confidence. So, what what yeah. system do you implement? What do you what do you yeah. use? Though? Well, like most new agents, you don't have a lot of money to spend. So <laughs> for me, I had to you know figure out what was going to work. It can be overwhelming too. There's so many ways to get business. So for me, I just like narrowed it down to just staying in touch with like my sphere and my past clients. So people that I knew would help my business grow. So really, it's just like you have a database of everyone that you're in contact with, and then I have like another database. A more selective database of people that um, I know know who I am and I've built great relationships with. So really, I just have like an action plan, just staying in touch with them, just whether it's phone, email, you know, do fun things every month with them. Um, but that's really it. So what, what sort of fun things? What do you do with your database? Uh, well, I give them gifts. You know, I'll do like prizes with them. I'll sometimes I'll just do something like a video, or I'll just send them like some love with like a video, you know, right. something unexpected. Um, just staying in front of them. That's now that we're able to do more stuff, I'll be doing, you know, like in person things. But I love it. So, so, you, so you sort of systemize your contacts with your database, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Nothing so, fancy. <laughs> if you're getting into business today, brand new, and now you have this experience, what yeah. what what advice would you give to anyone starting new? Um, I would probably say be patient and trust the process because jumping <laughs> into it, I was very eager and very um uh impatient to want to like get things in contract right away and so that's i was like i took the wrong approach there where you know i didn't realize initially that uh clients they take time to translate into transactions and those relationships take time to nurture so like the transactions that i've closed in the last six to eight months a lot of those have come from people that i've met at open houses from like two years ago right so um that's what i'd say and then so, yeah just no, it's a relationship. If you come off pushy, you're going to exactly. sound salesy and push people yeah. off, right? Yeah. So, okay. so. Excellent. So. All right. Well, thank you, Chantel, for your time up here. <laughs> Tech, Vince, you coming up? Uh, yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, completely forgot we were doing this one. Um, we're just highlighting the, the, the Create a Neighborhood Smart video in the social post. Uh, you really don't even have to do anything. Go ahead, click on it. It will put it in there. Schedule it a week out or more if you want to, and literally it will show you the different those particular. And this is really great if you want to touch your clients, something fun. You just you just make it say, I want okay, all my people live in the Thomas Park, in the Thomas Park neighborhood. It'll do all the stats, and you just send it to people in the Thomas Park and schedule it. Pretty awesome. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, compliance corner with Joanna. Joanna, it's online. Hi guys, can you hear me?
So I'm here to uh, just give you guys a little reminder, talk about MLS and closing reports. So I just wanted to remind you guys the importance of going into MLS once you have closed, when you're on the buyer side especially. Uh, I've been noticing that some of the listing agents, when you're on the buyer side, are uh, reporting the incorrect information. So they're putting in their own or it's just not there. So I have been able to flag some of those and advise, hey, please contact MLS or the listing agent to get it corrected. So just to remind you guys, if you're not checking that, you're not gonna get credit for it if it's not caught. So oh, now oh, I'm starting to push more for that. Yeah. Yeah, so just so you guys know, we are getting people list, you close on the deal, you try to get credit for it. The listing agent is going in and putting either their information like they double ended it or no, just putting yeah. in the wrong information. Yeah. We're yeah. seeing a lot of that because there's a lot of new agents in and then, right? So please go check it because then we have to go to MetroList to do all this rig and roll to get it changed. And it's hard because they got to get the listing agent to respond. And if the listing agent doesn't respond, it's hard. It goes really slow. And then we do your reports and it doesn't show up there, right? So, so if you want yeah. credit, make sure you check the closed. Oh, so. Yeah. Yeah, you can call them. Well, once it's in there, if they hit submit, it's locked in on the close. So at that point, the broker's got to go yeah. with Metro List and change it, which is a big pain in the butt, right? Because then I got to get the other broker to respond and everyone's got to check in on it, right? So the best way, John, is to have that conversation with that prior to yeah. closing or at least prior to. The yeah, time. so if you're closing a $1.3 million deal, you probably want to take credit for yeah, that. Yeah, right? probably want to. So. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Diana. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, guys. We, I, I know we will have questions on our next slide. Um, because of time, we're running a little behind. Please save your questions so after the team yeah, can we address can anything you guys have. Just let us get through it, tell you the, the important bits, and go from there. Okay, we are moving from Skyflow to Command for Compliance. Okay. And everyone's like, whoa, what's that mean? All this stuff, I don't know how to do it, but don't worry. We are going to have lots of trainings um, on this. But I know most of you, we actually checked, there's like 98% of all transactions. You guys, I guarantee, who knows your SkySlope login? I do. I mean, I, my fingerprint does. <laughs> who actually logs into SkySlope? Who's actually logged into SkySlope? Leon's logged into SkySlope. Okay, so Checking. exactly. So, <laughs> so we will. We're going to be having trainings coming up. You need to schedule, get your TCs there. It'll be both Zoom and live, so don't worry. They need to get your TCs there because they're the ones who tend to interact with it, and we will train them on how to do this. Um, twenty twenty two, right? <laughs> <laughs> the timelines are. Um, yeah, eighth of July we will start opening up command. Seventh of July, sorry. Seventh of July we will start opening up command that you can start running transactions through command instead of SkySlope if you want that practice. Okay. Um, the next three weeks, July 7, 14, 21st, two to three p.m. for the next three weeks, you're required to register for a training. Put that out, to you guys. You got to go to one of the trainings so that you know what you're doing. Come around end of September, I think. And August 31st. August 31st. After that, we're going to stop putting new transactions into SkySub. So you can still continue to do that, but after August 31st, we're going to stop. You're going to have to put new transactions in command. By December 1st, anything that's still in SkySlope that hasn't closed will have to move to command. Through December, we are going to be downloading all your files to a server to have for records. During this time period from now to the end of December, if you want your records yourself, then you need to download them for SkySoft. We will, in the training, if you go to training, we'll tell you how to do that, okay? That's if you want your records. But no, we will have your records too. We will keep all your records, your past transactions, so if you want. All right? Three years. The year requires three years, so. The year requires three years of records. So new agents, we don't have to worry about SkySoft. Correct. Correct. So if you're new, you just want to write the exactly. So if you're new, you're like, ah, whatever, that's what it is. You're going to be teaching the class. Yeah. <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> uh, okay. But if you have any questions, please say for after. So, okay. um, home buyer seminar tonight. Now, I just want to note that this is not for, this is for agents. 
That's agent to agent. Agent to agent. This is, if you want to learn how to do one, Amy is doing one for you guys so she can train how to do home buy seminars. Oh, yeah. Sign up with Sam. Sign up with Sam. Right there, Wednesday tonight. There'll probably be snacks. Probably booze. Booze and snacks. I'm in. Probably. I'm in. Probably. I like guaranteed. Tonight is the um, Joey on Friday is coming in. Friday, um, one to three. Um, master nice. commission with disc profile. Please, please uh, attend this. I can't. Disc is the way, if you can understand it, internalize it, it's a very good way to convert. How many of you want to go to an open house and get several appointments instead of hope you got an appointment? Mm -hmm. Right? You got some leads. So I've been working with Rich on this. Rich, how many did you get at your last open I house? Got, I got two listings. So we went to an open house, three hours, 20 groups, two listings, two listings out of it, right? And we use this. It's, it's a way that if you understand how you, it's a way, great way to analyze you. If you understand how you show up to other people, then you can start. And then if you identify how they show up, and then you start talking to them in ways that they want to hear, oh. something you'll start converting better. Right? So I, I prove it to like a foreign language. It's not trying to be salesy. It's just saying, although we all speak English, we all speak different English because we all think different. Right. But if you can categorize them how they think and then change how you say things normally to the way they want to hear it, it's only and start clicking, right? Is that that's it. Actually, here in person, it's gonna be Zoom. Is Zoom. We'll have a live one with Zoom, but it will be Joey's coming. Oh, Joey's coming live. Oh, never mind. It's live oh, right, right here. Sam told me Joey's coming. Wow. All right, Joey's coming here live. He said down the beard. And Joey we'll be, has we'll be streamed as well. Joey is a, 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 a team leader down there, a broker owner like me. He also owns two luxury teams, one in New York and one in the Bay Area. Um, they do over 80 million in points. So that's this Friday. This that's Friday. This Friday. Friday. Yeah. Oh, is people gonna be here? Because this is people yeah. for um, I'll be here. <laughs> well, he'll be here. They'll be here. They'll be here. <laughs> I recommend you be here. Um, Thursday, August 19th, we're bringing in Rachel Adams. So, um, this so, is virtual. This one's virtual. This one's virtual. Yes. So, we got it. But Mega Camp, they said the day, join the waitlist. Actually, invited, but just so you guys <laughs> know, they're opening it up more. At Mega Camp, we got um, three invites. What? Three. Oh, the, wait, what date was that? 19? 8 19. I got you. We got three more <laughs> invites that the office got based on our thing. So, but you have to have a GCI. A GCI of over 150,000 in the last three months. 12, 12 months, sorry. Last 12 months. So if you over have a hot, over 150,000 in gross commission income in the last 12 months, we have three invites for you. And we will, you will get an email out as for the first come first serve, I guess. So. Pretty much. But you can live attend from. Mega Camp in Austin, Texas. Um, live and in person. Live and in person. Oh, that bodes well for family reunion. 2022. Yeah. So, right. But the good news, if you go, you know it's only to be mega top producers mm -hmm. at that at Mega Live. So it's a pretty good network. So all right. Carolyn, is she on? You want to put her on me? Hi. Oh. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Hey. Yes. Hold on. Everyone wait. You guys are all on camera. Hey. Hey. I love this energy. I want to be here at 11 o'clock every Wednesday. <laughs> do it. You're invited. Yeah. It's a good group. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Three screens here. <laughs> we're building. Awesome. We're building the plane and flying at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, Carolyn, thank you for being here with us. We're You're very welcome. excited to have you. It's my so pleasure. You want to Thanks. introduce yourself a little bit about what you what you do, what you understand. Sure. My name is Caroline Quo. I'm based out of the San Francisco Bay Area, and our team is primarily on the Mid Peninsula, so south of San Francisco, north of Silicon Valley, in that little sweet spot. I've been in business for about 17 years, 11 years with CB, and the last uh, six amazing years have been with Keller Williams. Keller Williams really saved my life. Um, I'm on the ALC. I'm a IALC representative for the region. I'm also a KWRI growth guide um, that was started by Karen Paul and Jason Abrams, member of Gary Keller's mastermind group and uh, smaller uh, lab groups within KW. Um, we have a small team. <laughs> it's just myself right now. And we, we grew very fast and then we contracted and we pivoted. 
Um, and uh, now it's myself, uh, lead buyer's agent. We have director of ops. We have uh, a listing manager. We have a TC. We have, oh my gosh, what else? I just got a personal assistant. We have a director of uh, marketing and an assistant for the director of marketing. Um, our business is 90% plus of referrals. And so I, I really um, relay with, uh, with Chantal. Um, you know, that's our source of business as well. Awesome. So most of your business comes from that. And, and uh, what would, do you know your stats for maybe last 12 months or last year? Uh, last year we were at 89 million. This, this year we've just finished 60. Um, we're probably on track for 90. <laughs> <laughs> we really only guys we only we don't have six months left it's not like half the year is over we actually have only have five months left to make our goal so make a plan awesome so i know you came from cb to kw and and sort of embraced the culture so what what do you love about kw what what, what brought you over and oh my gosh this is what i love right <laughs> all the sharing this time i mean what company can have speakers from and, and guests and for guests to attend meetings and, and connect and mastermind and really lift each other up. And I always think of Keller Williams like a buffet. I've said this a few times is like, it's an entire buffet of anything you want to know in real estate, but it's up to you. It's up to you it's, it, to step up to that line, but you have to know what you want, right? So if you go down the line and you fill up your plate and it's this mound and you're just looking at it, you're like, I can't devour this. Right? Like, like going to mega camp, right? You come back and you're like, what do I do? Like all these great <laughs> ideas. So if you have a plan, if you're very, very clear about where you want to go and how you want to get there, when you step up to the buffet line, you only take what you need at that moment, right? So um, I just love the learnings, the opportunities to learn, the opportunities to network, the opportunities to learn from each other um, and just, you know, lift each other up. I love that. I love the culture. Awesome. Awesome. So um, you started it, uh, you do a lot of luxury now. I know you just closed the $18 million deal, congratulations. So um, well, how did you get into luxury? Did it start that way or did you grow into it? What, what, what happened on that? Um, I was very clear in the beginning of my real estate that that's the space I wanted to be eventually, right? So when I'm looking at homes and land, you know, all those years growing up, those the luxury properties. I was like, I could do this. I could sell this. I understand it. And I used to just go to open houses and, and talk to the agents. I'm like, I can do this. And, and so I really made sure that when I joined the business, I really understood who I was, um, who I am, who I am not, and wanted to get into luxury space. But I'm the type of person that, you know, and this is not, you know, everybody tells you, talk to everybody first, right? Tell all your friends and family that you're in business. For me, my personality, I wanted to figure out first and earn the right to earn the business of my friends and family and peers. Um, and then when I got to maybe like half, six to seven months into my career, I'm like, I understand this luxury space because I went to see all the open houses. I asked to host open houses uh, for luxury agents. So I got to feel and hear what they were saying. And I'm like, they're just people. They're just like us. It's nothing special. You know, it's just, and so, um, then I let people know and people saw me at open houses and these high price points. And I got a referral um, for my first list. My first listing was a condo. My second listing was a luxury listing. And it was because this person saw me at these open houses and um, liked the way it was presented. So that's how I got. And then it's just referrals upon referrals upon referrals. So once you get a luxury listing, boy, especially with social media now, you want to really maximize that, right? And so show people that you're in that space. If I had social media back then, 17 years ago, man, it'd be totally different. The business would be different. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys, you can go to open houses now. and You don't have to be a luxury agent to go tour luxury homes. And when you're touring luxury homes, you know, take a picture of yourself in front of it, people start and put a post that people start realizing, wow, you're in that space. That's a long answer, but. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's great. That's good answer. That's good answer. So if, if someone is not a luxury now and thinks about wanting to be luxury, uh, what, what advice would you give them right now? So Go see luxury property. Go see it. Go see how it's staged. Go understand the pricing. Talk to people in that space. And don't be afraid, right? Don't limit yourself. And some people say, join the yacht club, join the whiting club, do this and do that. And like, but if that's not me, I'm actually a real introvert. So if it's not me, then I'm going to go to where I'm comfortable. 
Um, I, if it's not me, I will learn it, right? I will go learn it. I, I want then in my comfortable space, I like one-on-one -on -one connection. So I started connecting with estate attorneys. I started turning, um, you know, these estate attorneys refer business to us. I would say a quarter of our business is referred from estate and divorce attorneys. That $18 million listing was a divorce attorney. So if you can make them look good, make their job easier while they're counseling their clients to the one of the most difficult points in their lives, then they're going to refer you, right? So um, that's the space I went into. And then, um, you know, through school, uh, and then it's just, it's just referral. So luxury space, no. And so for example, we, I was on a panel for um, family reunion, can't even believe it. And one of the panelists was from Beverly Hills. So he learned the language of the entertainment industry, right? So that was, was, was his circle, his sphere. Up here, our language is tech and VC. So I better know that language because that's how we're gonna build rapport, right? And so, um, and, and know your stats, know where the luxury age uh, luxury people are going, know where they're going, where, know where they wanna go, establish connections over there, I had a client said, I'm selling my house. I'm moving family to Montana. I'm going to buy a ranch. Okay. I knew somebody in Montana, connected them, and I brought value and a referral fee, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> right. Yeah. So uh, was there anything different than normal residential versus luxury um, on services or uh, that they ask for or demand more that, that don't you don't see in, on the regular residential side? So there's luxury and there's ultra luxury, right? And so the ultra luxury clients, they're the ones, they're, they're in the C-suite. They don't have time. They don't have energy. They are, they are surrounded by people that make things happen for them. So you better step into that space where you are that one of those counselors, right? So your, your mindset of saying, I'm just an agent or I'm a real estate agent and I'm selling this X amount of house property, you have to change that mindset. You are a consultant to that client. So the service is speed and knowledge because if they have only five minutes on the phone with you, you better be able to communicate what they need to know. And you better know what they need to know before they know it. <laughs> so, that, that anticipatory, so I talk about anticipatory a lot. So on our team, it's all about anticipatory service. If they call us and have to ask for something, we're already behind. So we're always thinking five, 10 steps ahead. Okay, we're here now, the world is great, but it could go here, it could go here. And if it goes here, what happens? Oh, okay, I see this going over there now. I better let our client know that we're going there and this is what we're gonna do about it. So always staying a step ahead. And that's when you become referrable. Uh, people always ask, how do you get referrals? And oh, hey, I closed 10 deals and they never referred me. Well, you have to earn the right to be referrable. Just because you've closed a transaction doesn't mean that they need to refer you. And every referral we see, we actually treat it like just pure gold. Because when somebody's referring me, their reputation is on the line, right? So if they're referring me to their friends, family, coworkers, and we do a bad job, boy, we've done a bad job, um, you know, representing that referrer. Is there anything you do? Uh, how do you love your database? You see your 90% referral. How do you continue to get referrals even past closing? Well, yeah, like Carl Batiste says, right? If you're not dating your database, somebody else is. <laughs> I can guarantee that your clients are not subscribed to only your search, right? Or, or you're, they're on many, many people's lists. There are many people dating them. So if it's your client, it's really um, checking in on them, you know, Facebook stalking, <laughs> social media stalking, you know, if they had a graduation, oh my gosh, congratulations, boom, a gift is sent, right? I can't, I can't believe he's now 18. Um, I remember when blah, 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 blah. Um, this is to the point, our care and love and um, meeting them where they are. So it's not all blanket. Like everybody gets a blanket letter. Everybody gets a blanket email. It's really picking up the phone. And sometimes the phone gets really heavy um, and sending a text and meeting them where they are in their lives. Um, you know, hey, 
I'm so sorry, Joe, your, your mom passed away. What do you need? I have a packer for you. I have an estate person for you, blah, 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 blah. And you show up, just show up for your people. Another thing is we did during COVID is we wanted to find out, like, first of all, the first few weeks, right? You want to love them, make sure they're okay, check in on them. And then, and then what? Then it was, you know, people were scared. They didn't know what to do. What was happening with mortgages? What was happening with interest rates? So we started thinking about what would they want to know? What is something we can share with them that other agents aren't talking about? So what is that extra thing that the other agents are not thinking about? Because a lot of agents that kind of regurgitate what they hear and what they see, but really, do you really understand it? And what, and from that, what other, other questions people might have and how do you answer those? So providing value, not just, you know, from here, but also from here. Right, melding it together. So um, it sounds like then what you're saying is luxury is just being of higher service level, being anticipatory of what the client's needs are through the process and loving them as much as possible and staying in relationship with as much as possible. That's yeah, right. absolutely. You have to understand them. And that this profile is amazing. Joey, if you haven't met Joey, you're going to love him. Like bring your popcorn because he is a show. Um, <laughs> so uh, I, I gave this example before is that I have a client. She manages a billion dollars. She, ma she manages a billion dollar fund and she's from the Midwest. And at closing, you could give her like an Hermes bag or a Gucci bag or something and say, thanks for doing business with us, refer us. But I remember when she said during our process, she's like, the thing I miss the most is like homemade bread. She's like, I can buy the best bread here, but I really miss homemade bread with this type of flour, blah, 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 blah. Closing gift was a basket full of these ingredients for her to make homemade bread. You. What, how does that feel? Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Okay. Any questions that you have for Bobby? Um, I have a question. You said your main referral partners are estate planners and divorce attorneys. Uh, I've kind of reached out to them for a number of years. You have a couple of referral partners, but what's kind of set yourself apart from others? Because a lot of agents reach out to attorneys and they can be tough to get your foot in the door. What, what's kind of helped you get ahead of the game? Yeah. And, and so, great question. Um, to, to get into the game, it was I wanted to build my black book, right? We always be, want to be, Gary always says that we want to be the per people that we want to be the business that people come to all the time with whatever they need, right? And so I, I was building my book intentionally. Everything was with, was with intention. And so how do you get in there? So you just tell them, I'm, an, you know, I'm a real estate agent with Kayla Williams and my clients are always calling me to ask about the best attorneys in these categories. And your name has come up over and over again. I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit more about your business. Of course, that conversation starts. And then this is, then you tell them about what you do. And um, I've helped several families in these situations. And this is what we've done. And give them an example. Give them a story of a very difficult case. Uh, or borrow somebody else's story with permission <laughs> of what your, your company can do, right? And then, you know, if they give you, and then you just keep dripping them. Um, and... Once they give you a shot, you work the heck out of that. Um, and you that becomes one of your stories. And they will go, wow, they did an amazing job. I don't have to do anything. Then they start referring. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Um, I just want to bring in, you started a toy company when you had. Oh, my company. gosh. <laughs> you did. about that. So. Yeah. So I came out of school. I was, a, oh, I grew up really in, my parents were active investors. And so I was the one like going with them and asking to go with them to look at property and listen in on the deal and all that stuff. And um, my parents were like, you're either going to be a designer in real estate or you're going to be like a counselor. And now as an agent, we are both, right? <laughs> um, and then I grew up in the, uh, and I had a marketing and advertising degree, came out, went to financial services, then went to IT consulting, uh, putting groups together. And then I ha we had our first child and I was like, wow, these products from Asia are incredible and nobody could, we couldn't buy them here. So I quit my job. I started a baby products company and the first year we were on, like we won innovator of the year and all this stuff. We were in right start, babies are us, et cetera, et cetera. So that was fun, but it was all, you know, grassroots. <laughs> Thanks. I know you have a little bit of time left. Just one last question. Um, you have 17 years of experience in real estate now and all this background. If you were talking to someone 
new uh, or, or or trying to trying to grow into their be you know a top agent top mega agent or grow a team what would your advice be to them right now i have a few steps um number one is to really know who you are and who you're not create your mvvvp work on your mission visions values beliefs and perspectives and when your values are clear your decisions are easy so we have our MVVVP and every decision is measured against that. We once walked away from a $3 million listing because this, this client, I mean, it was, I mean, he had potential other listings too. He didn't match us. It wasn't a match. And so I came back and told the team, we're not taking the listing. This is why. And everybody said, no problem. Let's move on. So know who you are and know who you're not. Know what your standards are. And so you can say, I'm a luxury service agent, I'm this and this and this, but your standards, but what you're really serving is here. This is really your standard, right? So <laughs> you really want to make sure what your standards are and make sure you have the people around you to, to help you with that. Create your plan. Um, you choose where you want to go. Isn't that great? We're in the like only industry where we choose what our net profit's going to be and where we want to go with a plan. If you don't plan, how do you know? How, if you're on the right track, how do you know if you're winning? How do you know if you're behind? And so um, what we do right now is um, the 12 week year, look at all these. Um, yeah. So, this, <laughs> so we're, we're, the whole team is on 12 week year and we, um, we're in a masterminds around it as well. Um, surround yourself with a tiger team. If you're an individual agent, surround yourself, look, look around and see who you're surrounding yourself. Who are your peers? It's my alarm. I'm right. Um, and who are your peers? <laughs> Assemble your tiger team. Um, so we were in Austin this past weekend and there were a few of us and we listed like pages and pages of our problems right now. And Gary comes in and he looks at it. He's like, you just need the right people, right? So if you are not at a point where you're hiring people yet, have the right people around you in the mindset as well. Um, let's see have a great peer group and then function check always function check function check function check or function audit so if things are going great but you have to stop make sure like each department okay my marketing my listings uh preparation our buy side our transaction everything to do with your business do a function check see if it's going great and if there are areas of opportunity and do it like two three times a year um and then Focus on the small wins, right? Um, there, I just saw a comic the other day. It's a woman and there's a ladder in front of her and the rungs were like really, really high. And she's just like staring at it. And the next woman next to her has like this ladder, same ladder, and the rungs are, you know, much more manageable. And so a great example is um, Joe Montana. He didn't care about the score. All he cared about was 25 first downs. If he knew he can do 25 first downs, the likelihood of them winning the game is going to be really, really great. So focus on the small wins and celebrate them. Well, thank you. I know you got to go, but thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to join us. You're welcome. Good luck, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> That was good. That was good. Thank you. So, just glad we you know Zoom and technology can help us bring uh, mega agents in. So, I hope you got a lot of value out of that. Um, yeah. You can see luxury is it's more about a confidence and making sure your service is good, right? And anticipating. And the better you know, like I said, go see luxury, see, see how they talk, see how they operate, right? Uh, here's the next, so. uh, join us next week. We have another special guest coming in. So, uh, I'll let you know. But... <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Also, AZ uh, Boulevard Construction has brought an amazing spread for you guys. So, if you want to get some bobs in, so Ooh. thank AZ. Just so you know, AZ has a construction bill for building more than 55. More than 55 million in building contracts right now. Wow. So, if you want your luxury house built because you're killing it like Caroline. Talk to AZ, he can make that happen. Or you have a client that wants to buy land and maybe build. More than 55 contract is uh, value is above uh, at least 100 million. That's, that's right. Yeah. So he's a new architect, a very, very talented guy. But he was gracious and brought kebabs because we've been.
a rap for them about yeah. it. Yeah, we have some. Yeah. 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 Last week at the potluck, but as you guys know, we didn't need any more potluck. Right. Oh, we <laughs> it this week as a little continuation. Is this an apology <laughs> about the conference room? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but it's right back there. So everyone have a great day. I hope it was a great evening for you. And, uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.